I'm going to ask you a question. Why are we so dissatisfied with our professional lives? You know, I read a report from the conference board and it said 53% of American workers are unhappy with their jobs. That's insane. That's half of us. I want to reflect on that for just a second. This isn't a bad day or temporary unhappiness. This is hopelessness. Resigning ourselves that our happiness is basically a coin flip. Now, why might that be? Listen, about 60% of managers receive no training at all. How can they help you if they've never been trained? 60% of people, that same amount, actually trust strangers more than they trust their own boss. Think about that for a second. Do you trust your boss? Okay. Only 12% say that they're leaving a job because of the money. You know, it seems like that's the easy fix, right? That it's going to be money, but that's not the problem. The other 80% of people say lack of appreciation is their reason for leaving their job. You know, but ultimately, no matter what your boss or what your personal reasons are, you know, your reasons are yours and yours alone. You know, you might have thought that the first thing we were going to do in a course like this is kind of get you excited about the new things we were going to do and this new, you know, this new way to think about your professional career. But no, first, we need to get to the root of what's making you unhappy, your reasons. If you don't articulate, articulate those reasons for yourself, you're not going to be successful going forward. So I have six questions to ask you that I want you to reflect on as you begin this course and you start to do this. I want you to write them down and keep them in front of you because when things get hard and things are uncomfortable, you're gonna reflect back on your own reasons. Here's the first one. The first question is, who are you? You know, what's your professional identity? And don't say, I'm a marketing person, or I'm a salesperson, or I'm a chief financial officer, or I'm a uh, administrative assistant. None of those things really matter. Who are you? What professional skills do you have? What do you like to do? That's your first question. The second question is, do you feel stuck? Do you feel like you're on a path and that's the only path there is? You know, you went to college and you got the job and now what? You had that first job and now you're looking for the second one. Or you're mid-career and you should be going up in this linear path. Or you're getting ready for retirement. That there is this path for you and you feel stuck. You don't feel like there are any other paths. Is that you? What path do you think you're on right now? Third, what is your level of career security? Do you really feel safe and secure in your job? Do you have money saved? Do you feel like you can go into work tomorrow with 100% certainty that you're gonna have a job when you leave at the end of the day? Four, is your time invested for you or is it invested for your employer? Do you have time in the workday to work on things that are exciting or interesting to you? Or do you go home and just flop on the couch and hope that you can forget about it until the next day? Fifth question, are you earning what you think is fair? This isn't what other people have, or don't compare yourself to other people. Do you feel in your heart of hearts that you're earning what you want to earn? And finally, you know, do you feel depressed? Do you feel, and this isn't, again, this isn't that, you know, we see this in lots of different ways. You know, that you don't have energy for things. You have negative thoughts. You don't enjoy the things you used to enjoy. You've got to ask yourself those questions. Write down the answers to those questions. I know it's going to hurt. It's going to be painful. I know that from personal experience. You know, three years ago, I sat right where you are and answered those questions. Those things crystallized for me the change that I needed to make to become an independent professional. But before I did that, I didn't really know why and I wasn't really sure. So it's going to hurt, but give yourself the gift of self-reflection and that clarity right now. And when you have, you'll be ready to start with us.